Now this is IRM and you mix it dry. First, spatulate it. And then you take your fingers, your glove fingers, and you squeeze the part you've spatulated into the powder so it's pretty dry and pretty firm. If it's moist and gooey, you, it doesn't work as well. So just press that into the hole. Now, why do I use IRM? It's easy quick and it's effective and it's not going to be exposed for a long time. We're going to place a crown on the tooth. Some people say, well, IRM will affect the set of composite, the composite cement or a composite restoration. I've never had an issue with that in 40 years of using it because I'm sure it's, it's set all the way before I place composite near it, including composite cement. You can place a composite buildup if you want to. I've just always used this because it's so simple. But you need to mix it. You can see that's pretty firm. You want to mix it densely so that it's nice and firm and not gooey. Then once it sets, I come back with this rubber wheel sometimes and just polish it a little bit around the edges so you don't have any sharp edges. And we're obviously going to place crowns on these teeth at a forthcoming appointment. So this is just making it comfortable for the patient. You don't want to leave the IRM for a long time. It's not a permanent restoration, but it's fine for a few weeks. So this is just the endo sequence. So that's the dental minute. These techniques work and they work every time.